Welcome to part 3 where we're gonna continue working on the archery uh, We're gonna start with the aiming uh, state But for that we're gonna have to do some camera changes so when you're doing some aiming Now before I jump into the camera let's just create the, the state first And then we can jump back to the camera You'll see some new stuff in here you don't have to uh, be worried about this I'll explain every single one of them once we get to them so for now, if we go back to player ball, you're gonna see all these states right here. Just pick whichever you like. I'm gonna pick the equip because it's the most basic. I'm gonna copy it right here. Change its name to player aiming state. Now for player aiming state, we're gonna change this to state underscore aiming. Any state that you create, you're gonna have to change its state. <coughs> so for now, we're not gonna do anything in particular uh, make sure you reset this by the way we don't need this equipability actually this whole thing you don't need it for now let's just, let's just return true and remove this one so when do you exactly aim that is something we have to know as well we aim when um, we click right mouse button so right mouse button which is handled here for the right mouse you see we're checking already for normal block if normal block exists uh, it can perform it well if not it will try to attack and before attacking we're gonna add something else so move attacking down and here we're gonna get another one like this one and hook it up change it to state underscore aiming now it will never return a value because we did not associate it with the data asset so make sure you add that aiming state and that's all we need now if we try and test this let's see what we get make sure your eye is on the left side you see it changed from idle to aiming let me try again from equip we have equip right here and if you click right mouse button it changes to aiming and it remains right there now we have two problems one i equipped uh, sorry i tried to aim when i didn't have a weapon equipped so that's something to, to fix Two, I'm still in aiming even though I'm not holding the right mouse button. Now to change this, simply go to the aiming state. And here, we're gonna get the owner character, get the combat, uh, sorry, combat, get component by class, not the combat. And here you can get the combat component. So combat, Make sure you pick the player combat component. From here, get combat status. Has tag. And from here, in combat. Let's just type combat. In combat. This in combat happens when you equip the weapon. Now, if you go to the equipping state, which will potentially fire the equipability if how do i know if your weapon is equipped i know it from this one status combat or in combat means you have a weapon in hand so that's why i'm using it in aiming state if i do have a weapon in hand then i have this status so let me try now if i hit right mouse button nothing happens if i do equip first and then right mouse button it goes to aiming now one issue is fixed the other one which is the right mouse button uh, sorry cancelling the aiming if i leave my mouse on the right mouse button so for that we can go to player aiming state we have a tick as well we can use that not this one the event once we have this we're gonna have to get is input clicked the input mapping will be from the uh, what do you call it the player himself so if you get the owner get mapping context and i'm gonna explain what this, what's this in a minute this is the mapping context i'm gonna check this which input are you checking for right mouse i'm gonna explain what, what this actually i forgot to explain why this this matters and right here i can do this get controller sorry we're gonna have to 
get the control directly from the character, so get controller. Cast to player, controller. You can do this or you can do this however you like. I'm just gonna do it this way for now. Now, for input action and the player ball, we have player inputs and I did explain in the tutorials that these matter to you. If you don't have any of them here, uh, none of the events here will fire. So make sure you have that. Or it will fire but it will never pass this. So to remain exactly where it was. Now that's for the input. And for the mapping context, if we go to the player himself. Uh, sorry, not the player, it's the controller. We need to go to the controller which is handled in um, here it's parent you see a function called get mapping context now this function will return the mapping context associated with this variable right here you can see it's the same here but the call is in the parent this mapping context has all the inputs associated associated with the key bindings that you want them to have so for the uh, let's go back to the data asset and from here we had the aiming state you can see I hooked it this wrong it should be right this way make sure you unhook this and that's all you need once you have the mapping context it will return to you the this mapping from this mapping it will get the right mouse which is right mouse button whatever you assign here if that is clicked, then it will tell you that it's clicked. If it's not, not clicked, we're just gonna print string for now. Now if we test again, equip the weapon, right mouse aiming. If I take it off, you can see if it's back to, it's, it's printing hello. That means we are, uh, we're doing the right thing. Now for here, we're just gonna end the state so we can go back to idle right away. Top left, equip, aiming, back to idle aiming back to idle now we have two more things left one is the camera changes which i told you about the second would be the change of uh, blended spaces now let's worry about the camera for now now if you go back to the folder i told you i created two camera modes as well as a reset camera values now let me start with the aiming camera now for aiming camera I just created, uh, sorry, I have this function from the parent, start camera mode. I'm taking the camera mode component, spring arm component, saving all these variables by default. And I'm setting the camera mode to camera.mode status.looping. Then we have the tick camera like we have in the abilities. On this switch, make sure camera mode status.looping. Then we're changing the target arm length to 150 using this float curve I'm gonna explain this in a second just uh, bear with me for now socket offset will be to 65 65 on the Y and Z the camera lag will be down to zero and we're checking if that is finished if it's finished we set the camera mode to nothing and the time passed of course back to zero now for the variables we created current target arm length current socket offset camera lag is just being set to true and the camera lag is speed we're just saving it now we have created also time passed which is a value of zero all these are values by default reset float curve will use the curve that I showed this curve goes from it has to go from zero my bad from zero zero two point five value of one and make sure this is in the cubic interpolation once you have that by the way if you don't know how to create it right click here float curve and this and that's all you need now I'm gonna show you the back to milli camera mode does the exact same thing no change except that the values here are 370 0 0 60 5 on the camera lag and at the end of it, I'm setting the camera mode of a class to the milli camera mode, which is set by default. Now, to know if this is working or not, we're just going to go to the plugin. We have, uh, sorry. 
camera mode component you will see it right here I'm just gonna add you don't have to do this and by the way this is in the plugin so make sure you don't change that and if you do change it reset it back I'm just gonna get current active sorry camera mode current camera mode if this is valid just print to me what it is now if we test this you can see it's camera mode I don't want it to keep popping on the screen so I'm just gonna hook this up you can see it's cam BP milli camera mode by default you will have the milli camera mode now we're gonna have to change this let me just close all these because we don't need them we don't need this we don't need this we don't need this now here when this starts we're gonna have to set to get a player or set get owner character get component by class you have the camera mode component and from here set camera mode of a class now the class we created will be aiming aiming camera mode which we created here now if we play equip right mouse button you can see it's changing to aiming camera mode but the camera didn't really change now let's check why the camera didn't change we can put breakpoints in here and we can see why this didn't change now equip right mouse you can see it running now let's put it here let's see if this runs and in fact it does run now let's see what's the values you're being set to so the value here of alpha will be zero time pass is zero target arm is 370 which is the default value for the target arm length let me stop this for now and let's see if this value is ever changing now we right mouse button nothing happens equip right mouse button I'm just gonna remove this and you can see the value remains at 370 why because if you go down to the sorry camera mode you can see right here the values aren't changing even though we have time that's because we're not changing the time pass it to means at zero now the time time passed at zero we're just gonna have to do this get time passed add to it the value of this and make sure you do this as well for the other uh, camera mode on false let's do this and here we go now let's play and try equip right mouse button and you can see in fact it's working if I release it's not returning back why because in the returning state we're not changing it to the other uh, camera mode so here we're gonna do this from the aiming camera to back to melee camera and let's try this equip right mouse button and you release after you release you go back to it and at the end of the back to melee you can see that we have the reset back to melee and that takes care of the camera mode now for the other parts we're just going to remove this because I don't need it anymore this I don't need anymore compile save for those who are following without TCF um, what we did is just changing the values for the camera boom right here target arm length and the socket offset which will eventually change how the camera is looking in which direction and how close it is to the player let me take this out now aiming back to melee let's try to bug this out it's weird for me to say this but let's try to bug this out the moment I equip I want to try aiming see if that works now equip right, right away right mouse button I couldn't let me try again move equip right mouse button it doesn't work and there you go we have aiming why didn't this work the reason is simple if you go to equip you will see we're allowing only two inputs move forward move right and that's it now if I equip and try to move it doesn't work why for simple reasons the equip even though it's allowing me the input the animation didn't allow me to 
Now if you go to the animation itself and we set it to upper body, this should take care of it. Now if you equip, we try to move, it didn't. One more time, equip, try to move, didn't work. Root motion is enabled, we're gonna have to take this off. Take it off. Now we try, and in fact we can walk. One more time. Equip, try to walk, you can walk. And that's it. If you don't want to walk, enable the root motion or remove this. Now we're gonna try to walk while aiming because we have this and let's see if it works. Equip, aiming, we can in fact walk. Now we're gonna handle the change of animations on aiming but that's gonna be for a different video. For now we did the aiming state, we did the equip of the weapon. Uh, I'll continue with the aiming animation in the next video. So, see you in the next one.